hello good day welcome to today's tutorial today we'll be considering how to design an absorber in our last class we we learned how to work on our distillation column so today we'll be working on an absorber and this is the question we'll be using as a case study for the tutorials now the question before us is um, Gustos design an absorber to absorb ammonia from an ammonia air mixture containing the following molar compositions. We have ammonia air water and um, the various um, mole fractions we are also given. So we are, we are asked to use 98% that's a molar concentration of H2SO4 to um, do this particular job. And pure air that will be gotten from the top of this absorber is Okay, we are asked to make sure that it's, it's about 99% approximately. Okay, that's our desired product at the top of the column. Now, another hint that was given to us is the pressure. The pressure of air ammonia mixture is 2 atmosphere. The temperature of air ammonia mixture 136.5 um, degrees Celsius. Then the molar flow rate was given to be... 1 to 3.6 kilogram mole per hour kilogram mole per hour all right so we're going straight to the design and um i don't need to choose this we've already learned how to add components and all of that so i won't be spending much time here we have a we have ammonia have ammonia we have water we have water we have h2so4 h2so4 okay so going by method assistance um if you go through this you see the few packages you can use so i'll be using nrtl nrtl okay so go straight to my design all right so let's go straight and design our air ammonia mixture we have um, air, air ammonia and um from what was given to us we have one th the temperature to be 136.5 136.5 from the question given to us and then the pressure to atmosphere was given to us atmosphere was given to us then um, the molar flow was i think one to three one to three point six three point six all right so this is telling us unknown composition so let's go add the compositions this is zero point eight zero eight four ammonia was given to be zero point one six three three and um water 0 0.0283 0 0.0283 okay so this stream doesn't contain h2so4 okay so that tells us that the vapor phase fraction from all our inputs is what one meaning that this is existing in the gas phase so the next thing we need to add is h2so4 H2SO4. H2SO4. So this way, okay. You are running this design, so you have to define your H2SO4. So for me, I will choose 19 degrees and the pressure. Let's assume this is at one atmosphere, one atmosphere, and a molar flow of 1000 see okay so let's go to this so we we'll have 98 0 0.98 given to us from the question and water is 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.02 okay so that defines everything okay so the temperature i chose 19 and the mono one so that was that will give me um a vapor phase fraction of 0 0.00 me telling me that h2so4 that i'm using is existing as a liquid and that's exactly what i want so you can choose what you want to use 
okay so i'll have to go to my object palette click on columns and select my absorber let's select my absorber double click to open it so my top stage is h2so4 my bottom stage is ammonia air okay ammonia air so we this is pure air pure air and um, this would be my ammonia h2so4 h2so4 all right so i need to go and define every other thing so top stage pressure is one atmosphere okay one atmosphere and bottom stage is two atmosphere two atmosphere okay now this was how i got it from my feed stream h2so4 is coming in through the top and it's coming in with a pressure of 101.3 that's one atmosphere so what that entails that the top stage pressure will be that same pressure now the other pressure from the bottom that is the air ammonia mixture is coming with two atmosphere and um, it's entering at the bottom stage that means that bottom stage is operating at two atmosphere so that's how i got about these values and then um, we move straight to the next one optional stage temperature and all of that so the temperature of the h2so4 coming in is about 19 degrees so i can i can call this 20 or 19 as the case may be and this is um one three one three six point five or i can say one three seven one three six point five as the case may be so i'll click on done i'll go to spec my degree of freedom is zero so come to parameters and change my efficiency to I don't like using one percent so i'll reduce it to say i have to change it to 0 0.9 that is 90 percent trade efficiency 90 percent we have to change all the stage stages to 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 so after doing this 0.9 so after doing this all i need to do is click on reset and run and let's see give me a little time it's solving on converged okay so i'll go back to my profile and um, take this back to 136.5 let's see let's see some time all right so we take this back to 19 So we have to keep adjusting our temperature till it gives us what we need. Okay, if you check the convergence tab, okay, the equilibrium that's the one that has to do with um, material balance is already okay, but we are we are working on the heat spec error to give us very close to something that is very close to zero point zero zero zero. So keep working on this ok 
Okay. Okay, so let's try thirty. Alright, so what that entails or what that is telling us right now is that the top stage temperature is thirty degrees Celsius, not twenty or nineteen. Alright, so that's for that. Remember we're working on ninety-nine to recover 99 um pure air at the top so if you check it check out your air you'll have 99.93 which is cool but let's see if we can also increase it again and see um if something else can so let's try 12 let's try 12 to so have 10 give us 99.93 more percent at the top so let's try 12 Okay, so I have to come back here and then um, change this so, to oh, to atmosphere. That's stage twelve. So bring it back to two atmosphere. I'll reset and run. Reset and run. Okay. So I think the best number of stage to be used right now is ten. So that actually gives us what we are looking for. 10 degrees. I'm sorry. 10. 10 is what we are looking at for. Alright. So we are able to achieve what was given to us. Look at the air. We have 99.93 from 80.84. And the amount of the amount of ammonia we have right here. Or the amount, amount of air we have is 0.003. The amount of ammonia we have in the pure air is 0 0.0003, which is very minute compared to what we had initially, the air ammonia mixture we we're having 0 0.163. So we've been able to reduce it by over 1000 percent Okay, so this is just how to run your design. The first thing you should remember is this: that pressure that must be added. At the top stage is the pressure of the incoming stream that is entering at the top while the one you have to add at the bottom is the pressure of the incoming stream from the bottom as a fish stream from the bottom and um, also the temperature of both the of the top stage and the bottom stage has to take root from the temperatures of this fish stream coming in too okay if it's not solving you just need to adjust some of the temperatures to suit the system all right it's more of an iterative stuff and at the end of the day your system has to converge so basically that is how to run your design assuming we didn't get up to 99.93 that we're looking out for would have kept increasing the stages or reducing the stage to give us what we actually needed all right so that's all about the design for an observer it's the same it's the same um, procedure you use if you're working on a stripper all right, the same procedure for absorber, stripper, scrubber, they are all the same procedure, the same unit operation. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this will really help you. So I would advise you go over this video, go over it over and over again. It's going to be really helpful, okay? Especially when you're working on a complex plant and you have an absorber, you have a distillation column. Okay, well, I'm taking it one after the other for you to know how to do it individually before you start interconnecting them. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your time. So in our next class, we'll be handling heat exchanger. Okay, uh, shell and tube heat exchanger, how to run the design. Thank you.